Okay, hey Tailwind guys, I'm here with Dan uh, right after his message. Awesome. Hey guys, um, thanks. Fun day. Yeah. Yeah, fun totally. stuff. Totally. Um, I think a lot of us are really thinking through the things that you mentioned because most of us, especially those of us online that are um, in America, we don't tend to think of ourselves as rich. We don't. And really, in the biblical scheme of things, we are. Yeah. Um, I, there's a couple of questions that came up in my mind. Sure. As, as you were going through the message, and I'm still kind of processing this, by the way. Yeah. Where does saving come into this whole thing of trust? Well, Scripture talks about saving. It's, it's very, very clear. But I think the point of saving is saving for the rainy day, saving for margin to be able to be generous, saving for future and retirement. Those things make sense. Saving my stuff so I can buy more and more and do bigger and bigger, I don't know if that's quite the biblical idea. Remember Jesus said one time, told a parable about a guy who had barns full of things he had saved and stored, mm -hmm. and then he died. Right. And he stuffed into him a bit of good. So he'd saved all this stuff for the end, and the end came years earlier than he right. thought it would. No problem with saving. It's about motive. It's about why am I doing that. If I'm saving to create margin, that's a pretty cool thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, I think a lot of people then would say, all right, I'm poor in trust. Mm -hmm. What are some practical ways that people could, you know, they say, okay, now what? How do you get from, because most of us start yeah. off, with no money. Yeah. I mean, we start, whether that's a teenager, as a kid, it's or true. whatever, we start off it's with true. no money. So we end up being high in trust and low in funds. Right. And somewhere along the line, that switched happens. Money catches up and trust fades. So how do, you, how do you recapture the trust without losing your cash? Well, I think the first thing <laughs> is you recognize you've made the switch. You know, that right. one's going up and one's going down. That's what we talked about today. Right. And secondly, you do some things to deliberately plan generosity, which we're going to talk about next week. Oh, okay. You know, why am I living on less of what I make and saving more and giving away more? You know, a great percentage people have used for years is, is spend 80%, save 10%, give 10%. Mm -hmm. Mary and I have been giving away 20% of what we make for years because we love putting in a margin where if JMO is hurting this month, we can help JMO. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the point is is start margining in, and we're going to be talking about that the next couple of weeks. Generosity next week, margin the okay. third week of this series. So I'm just going to say come back and we'll talk about it. All right. Thanks, Dan, for your Bless time. You, we're going to go discuss this some more. Cool. That is that. We will see you in the chat. JMO's crazy. He's nuts. <laughs> he really is. God bless you guys.